So today I'm going to talk about my high speed flash. The idea of this is it'll do microsecond durations for flash photography. And in order to have LEDs on for such a short duration, you need really bright pulses of light. So I've got a 24 array of LEDs down there along with a big capacitor and, and circuitry to trigger it quickly. Right here is a Fresnel lens. And uh, this one is a 70 millimeter focal length uh, Fresnel lens. I tried a 40 millimeter, didn't work at all. It, it looked terrible. So I'm going with a 70 millimeter. And right now it's set to have a focal length from the LEDs of under 70, maybe 60 millimeters or something. And that'll help blur out the image. I'll, I'll turn off the lights and show you how that works. So I'll turn on the LED. Oh, right now I've implemented a modeling mode. And the idea of that is basically it looks like the lights on constantly. You're probably seeing some vertical bars and that's because uh, I'm pulsing this light for a few microseconds every 10 milliseconds. So at a hundred Hertz with very short duration of on periods. And that makes it look to the human eyes like uh, the lights constantly on, which is uh, useful for testing these optics things. Now let me go turn off the lights and we'll talk a little bit about what's happening here. So you can adjust the focal length and like, you know, it's probably around 70 millimeters now, but the problem is it's the lights in focus and you're seeing all of the individual LED um, elements, which is not going to evenly light the object. So you have to bring it in a little closer and then things get blurred like you're, you're seeing there. Now, each one of these black boxes is one square inch. So, you know, maybe when it's, a, you know, about that distance, you're, you're covering sort of a, a four by six area, which was kind of my goal. Uh, the center's a little brighter, which is not good, uh, but is expected because that's how um, the fall off of the LEDs are gonna be. Uh, let's see. So um, as you move the whole thing back, it's gonna get bigger and smaller. So, uh, you know, all of that's pretty good. I think my biggest concerns are that the light's still not, you know, super even. Um, another concern is if you just sort of look alongside the lens, uh, you can see that there's lots of light leaking out. And I, I don't know what percentage is leaking out, but I'm going to probably 3D print a parabolic reflector and see how that, how much brighter that'll make things. And that'll give me an idea of how much light's actually leaking out there and whether I need to go with some kind of reflector. Uh, I would have liked to use the shorter uh, focal length pair uh, Fresnel lens, but um, the problem, it didn't look well, very good. So the problem with this one is, um, you know, at maybe that kind of a distance, it's going to require that the case be quite a bit longer and not as thin, which isn't too big of a problem. It makes the uh, molding of the case a little more expensive, but it's not a big deal. And, uh, it doesn't increase the dimensions that really matter when you're positioning it for a photo. So uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the results here. Uh, there's definitely some more optimization. This is just my very first attempt. So uh, we'll see how things go in the uh, future. Um, but uh, pretty good results here so far. Uh, oh yeah, and if you're seeing these vertical bars, um, that's just because I don't have the frequency of the flash synced with the uh, camera, which is just my phone here. So um, just ignore, ignore those bars if you've been wondering what those are uh, during the video. Uh, thanks for watching.